Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Roy. Welcome back to the channel, Fish and Trips, and we back for another vlog, y'all. Check it. All right, check this out, man. The other day, Mark and I were coming back to the boat ramp. He inadvertently said something that put a light bulb in my head. He's like, yo, after the early morning bite, it really gets slow, doesn't it? And it, it hits me that every time Mark and I go fishing, I would say 95% of the fish we catch is like in the first two hours, right? Me and Mark normally launch around eight or nine, right? We're fishing around eight or nine. And it kind of dawned on me, I'm like, yo, I tell Mark, I'm like, man, I think we're launching too late. I think we're launching too late. So to prove my theory today, I'm out here solo, right? It's about 6.30 in the morning. Sunrise is at 7, 10 a.m. If I'm right, theoretically, predator fish are gonna start feeding right before sunrise. They can see a little bit better, the bait fish start moving and et cetera. So that's why I'm out here. I'm out here to prove my theory that me and Mark need to start launching earlier to catch these fish. And honestly, sunrise is 7 10 a.m i should catch the limit respectfully by 8 30 a.m a limit of reds personally i think i can do it all right y'all enjoy the vlog i got something to prove today let us go lego i'm dancing with the shadows on the bedroom wall silhouettes of memory that i can't recall Trying to be ready for the car, trying not to fall, ready for the landfall. Rolling way too slow to win this human race. Gotta travel light through this desirable maze. The miles I leave in traces on my face, signs of falling grace, filling up the empty space. All right, let's talk about gear, baby. Once again, I have my Vanford Shimano 500. Um, I have my old 18 ultralight rod. I'm using my new favorite lure, which is the Z-Man Soft Shad, 10 pound braid. Got a 10 pound mono. We gonna slay it. Lego. All right, so I got to the first spot. I can see one, two, three people ahead of me. So, I don't know, it's gonna be some competition today. But the young gun is gonna get it done. I need to find like my own area. <sighs> Never had more traffic before, so we'll see. That is the first time. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how you doing? Good, thank you. in here but it's about damn time the good thing about the water level being high like this you can move around easy with your kayak but also um when it comes to the fish they have a lot more options as far as where they can go so they can be anywhere literally we won't be able to see them it's not gonna spend too much time on this spot it's gonna keep it moving since the water level is higher, I do have another spot I want to look at. All right, so I'm at the second spot. Now, Mark and I, we came here about two episodes ago. I think I titled the vlog, I can't believe what I caught in six inches of water because the tide was super low. Today, the tide is super high, maybe like two or three feet higher than when we came. So what I'm gonna try to do is make my way back to the back lake. We couldn't make it. It got to like two inches of water, so we had to turn around. But with the tide this high, I'm thinking big fish are running, big fish are going back, pushing them back, pushing them back to that back lake area. The condition is perfect. High tide, light cloud cover, water temperature is 70 degrees. Everything today say I should be limiting out on rest today. Everything. Now let's just go do it. All right, let's go. Now with the water level so high, a lot of that small bait fish, they can kind of just swim into the marsh grass. Give them protection. So I'm thinking maybe like predator fish like reds, flounder, they're just patrolling the shoreline waiting for them to come out, I think. So um, depending on when I post this on my last episode, I lost a, a PB red, right? 
and I thought it was because I didn't keep enough leverage on it but looking at the video when I edited it I had great leverage I just shook the hook it happens sometimes so I need to make sure I be more aggressive with my hook set and just trust my drag don't try to horse it in this this smart you know what I'm saying I shouldn't have lost that fish though I'm not I'm not new like that you know what I'm saying like I, I know what the deal is now if the fish are here I'm gonna catch them that's the only way I'm not gonna catch them this is not here all right so I made it to the secret passage right here to the right like I say last time we came here a couple of days ago it was like two inches of water so we couldn't make it back here it looks like I have enough space to hit it up so I'm not sure there's anybody else back there I'm literally the only person back here on the big part of the lake so I'm gonna hit this little side creek see if anything popping this one video where I hooked up on something right here around this corner and it drove and drug me like 50 yards I don't even know what I'd do if I get hooked up right here. What's that? So I, don't, I don't even know what I would do if I get hooked up in this little channel. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do this to myself? Oh, I guess we found that. All right, y'all. All right. Good morning, NDLR family. We are. Going on a trip. Going down the channel. A lot of bait back here, Mark. Come on, let's not scare the rest of them. Bro, <laughs> I'm just I'm pushing all the big ones back there for you, Mark. They'll be waiting for you as soon as I land it. He is not happy. Whoa, that was a big weight. Now, if you come this way, you're not about to go behind me. All right, see, the mistake, y'all, is that these fish like to run behind the boat, and I need to learn to stand up. All right. We're just going down the tour. He is literally just going down the channel, y'all. Uh -oh, going around the corner. Gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. Wait for me. Wait for me. Cause I didn't have my damn drag shit properly to be able to fight it like I should have. But you know, I'm learning. Good experience, you know. I hear blow-ups. Oh no! Kuma rats! A school of damn Kuma rats. A huge school of Kuma rats. There's nothing back here, bro. A gang of cormorants. An entire school of cormorants. Man, I came three miles to get back here. Just for a school of cormorants. There had to be like 30 of them swimming together in the school. 
killing anything in the sight. Definitely no fish back here, bro. Because them Kumarans damn so scared everything off and ate them. Damn. Came all the way back here for nothing, bro. Frick, I'm about to go shoot me some Kumarans. Come on, let's go. It harder to say goodbye. 